Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. It's been a little while since I have picked up a G.I. Joe figure, so for all of you G.I. Joe fans out there, well, here you go. I'm going to be reviewing the Marine Light Mortar figure. Uh, this one was released in 2003, I believe. And this is one of the the smaller one of the smaller sets or packs, whatever you want to call it. So a pretty cool box. It's one of the cardboarded ones. So on the side, you have his equipment list. Uh, this is a very simple figure, which you'll see once I pull him out. It doesn't come with a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a picture of him. Cool picture. Got some other ones down there. I have that one. Don't have that one. And uh, there's the description of the figure. All right, so that's his box. Here's the figure. So like I said, um, this is a very simple figure. Um, it was I'm guessing this was pretty cheap back in the day. Um, I picked him up for thirty something dollars off eBay. So not bad. Um, but this is a cool figure. Simple but cool. Uh, so the major attraction here is his uh, mortar, obviously, and this is pretty cool. Um, you can see we've got this detailed, uh, the bipod, which you can take that off. Okay, that's the scope piece. Not a whole lot of detail on that. Um, Okay, the base can come off. And then the cool part about this is you can pull these pieces back and shoot that out. So that's pretty cool, it works well. And we got another one here. And I will demonstrate that again. So that's pretty cool, it shoots very far. As for the figure, here he is. Okay, here's his helmet. Got a cool camo design on there. I believe, uh, based on the description, it was called, uh, they nicknamed this the Chocolate Chip Camouflage desert pattern. So kind of a funny name. Okay, cool head sculpt. I've always liked this head sculpt a lot. Yeah, it's a pretty rare one. You don't see this one a lot, so I was happy to get this one again. But that looks great. I think the hair is very nicely detailed. All right, and his uniform, obviously he's also got the chocolate chip camouflage pattern uniform here, and that looks very cool. And he's got his belt here with a canteen on the back of it. And there are his boots. All right, um, wow, that was a short review. There's really not much to show here. He doesn't come with a dog tag or anything else. This is one of uh, the smaller packs. So like I said, this probably was pretty cheap back in the day. Um, you're really just buying the a figure and, and the mortar here, so not really much else for equipment. Um, but this is a cool figure. I think he's, I think he's pretty nice. Um, if you're looking for just a basic uh, kind of grunt soldier, then this is a good one to get. It's not too hard to find and pretty pretty inexpensive. So um hope you enjoyed the review guys. I know that's kind of a short review, but I thought I'd fit in one last review before Christmas time. And uh, I'll try to get another one out before the year ends.
So thanks for watching, guys. And I uh, hope you all have a great Christmas. I'll see you next time.